subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for latest videos. Hi friends, here in this video we are going to see what is meant by one ton of refrigeration or it is also called as the refrigeration effect or the unit of refrigeration effect. So I would be explaining the concept and to explain the concept, first I'll draw the diagram of an ice. Here there is an ice cube of 1000 kg at a temperature of 0 degree Celsius. Now for explaining the one ton of refrigeration effect, we can imagine that we are standing near this ice cube for 24 hours and during that 24 hours time there would be this uniform melting of ice and it would get converted into water and this water would also be at 0 degree celsius that is we have to make this ice melt uniformly and naturally without supplying any external means like without any external blower or heater this ice would be melting on its own so the heat which is given up by the ice is called as latent heat wherein there is change of phase that is from solid to liquid but there is no change in temperature the temperature is same so when we are standing there near this ice whatever the refrigeration effect or the cooling effect which we are feeling for the 24 hours that would be called as the one ton of refrigeration and it would be written in this way like one ton of refrigeration is equal to now the latent heat of ice is three thirty five kilojoule per kg. It means for one kg of ice to convert into water, the heat which has to be supplied is three thirty five kilojoule. So here the mass is thousand. So it would be for one thousand kg ice. 1000 into the heat supplied which is 335 for the uniform melting of this ice and the time taken is 24 hours so dividing by 24 will give us the uniform melting for one hour then by multiplying the denominator would if it's 60 it would give me the answer in terms of minute and that answer comes out to be it is 232.6 kilojoule per minute. It means in one minute, 232.6 kilojoule heat is being given to the ice so that it melts and become water at zero degree Celsius. Now to convert it into per second, I would be dividing this by 60. So that gives me the answer as 3.876 kilojoule per second and kilojoule per second is also called as kilowatts and now these are the values which I am getting but for with the help of some experiments and practical values or practical readings one ton of refrigeration is taken as 211 kilojoule per minute and it is equivalent to 3.517 kilowatts so it means whenever we talk about one ton of refrigeration it means such kind of system would be continuously absorbing the heat of 3.517 kilojoule per second 
from the required space like if we are having an AC of one ton that one ton AC would be removing the heat from the room equivalent to 3.517 kilojoule in one second or in minute that AC would be removing 211 kilojoule from the room so that is the meaning of one ton of refrigeration similarly like we when we go for purchasing AC we purchase the AC in terms of ton so that ton of refrigeration is nothing but the refrigeration effect as explained it to, to you over here if it is two tons then this value gets doubled if it is three tons again multiply this by three so the value of refrigeration effect will go on increasing so in this video we have seen what is meant by one ton of refrigeration if you will find my videos helpful you all can like share comment and subscribe our channel at the same time share it amongst your family and friends thanks for watching